Guys, if you're in search of an emulator that can run smoothly on a 1 or 2 GB RAM PC without requiring a graphics card, then this video is definitely for you. In this video, I'll provide you with an emulator that you can easily run on a low-end PC. This Android emulator will show you Android 4.4, making it fully compatible with your low-spec PC. Additionally, a common issue for 90% of my audience is that their emulator gets stuck at 98%. So I will also provide a solution for this problem in the video with complete proof. Now let's move towards the computer screen. Let's roll. Before moving towards the installation process, let me show you the specifications of my PC. Take a look. My PC has only 2 GB RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. Now let me also show you the graphics card. See, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card. So now, let's move on to the steps of the installation process. Guys, you can find the link to download this zip file on my website. You can easily access my website through the About section of my channel. After downloading, right-click on the zip file and extract it. Once the extraction is complete, you'll find a setup on your desktop. Simply double-click on it to launch. After that, accept the license agreement and wait for a while. After that, the emulator will ask for a password. Type the password and press enter. The installation of the emulator has now started and will take around three to four minutes to complete. One eternity later. Once the installation is complete, you'll see the Phoenix emulator logo on your desktop. Simply double click on it to launch. As you can see, the emulator is stuck at 98%. Now, let's fix this issue. Firstly, we will change the compatibility of the emulator. Right-click on the emulator icon and go to Properties. Then, navigate to the Compatibility tab. Choose Windows 7 here and check the box below. Click on Apply and then launch the emulator again. Once the emulator is launched, go into its settings. After entering the settings, go to the Advanced tab. Here, select Mobile and set the resolution to a lower value. Then, inside the CPU core option, choose two cores, and in the RAM section, select 1 GB. Leave the other options as they are and click on the Save button. Restart the emulator once after saving these changes. As you can see, the emulator has launched perfectly this time. If I show you the Android version of this emulator, you'll find Android 4. The emulator is working perfectly now, but now it's time to install Free Fire, so let's do it. To install Free Fire, you need to download the Free Fire APK. After downloading, simply drop the APK directly into the emulator. Many of you ask me in the comments about the best website to download Free Fire. Well, there are several websites, but I highly recommend using Android One website. So, I suggest you download Free Fire from there. So, now that Free Fire is installed, let's test it out. While Free Fire is launching, I have a small request for you all. Please give the video a like. And if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing because we are very close to reaching 1,000 subscribers. In this emulator, you will find perfect key mapping. As you can see, the gameplay is very smooth. Overall, it's a great emulator, fully compatible with low-end PCs. Let me know in the comments if you liked this emulator or not. If you encounter any problems, you can contact me on Facebook or Instagram. The links are in the description. Also, if you want to install the Asus OS on your PC, check out this video. This way, we'll meet again.